Are you searching for a way to lower your blood pressure without taking prescription medication? A reduction in sodium helps lower blood pressure and eating potassium rich foods plays a key role in decreasing hypertension. Why is potassium important? Potassium is involved with nerve function, muscle control, and blood pressure. Potassium works with sodium to regulate the amount of water in the body. How does increased potassium reduce sodium levels? The kidneys regulate the amount of potassium in the body. Increased amounts of potassium may increase the amount of sodium eliminated by the body. Who needs more potassium? Athletes need to replace potassium loss from muscles during exercise and the small amount lost through perspiration. A person who takes diuretics may need more potassium due to the amount of water excreted by the body, although some diuretics may cause the body to maintain adequate potassium levels. How much potassium is required? The recommended amount of potassium for most Americans is 4.7 grams a day. However, athletes involved in prolonged strenuous exercise may require more. Most people don't get enough potassium. What foods are high in potassium? There are many sources of potassium. It is recommended that a person consume foods rich in potassium rather than choosing to take a dietary supplement. There are many fruits that contain high amounts of potassium, but most people only consider the banana. Including one of these vegetables in every meal will increase potassium intake. Potassium rich meats can be beef, lamb, pork, chicken, or fish. One eight ounce glass of milk contains as much potassium as a medium banana. Here are a few things to keep in mind if you are considering increasing your potassium. Salt substitutes are made from potassium chloride. Potassium chloride, or a diet high in potassium, is not recommended for people who have kidney disease. Anyone who takes a diuretic should consult their doctor before using salt substitutes or before increasing their consumption of potassium-rich foods. To learn more, contact your county extension agent and follow the links in this section.